look, we voted 98% to 2% to, 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 to strike, you know, we're, we, if, if they deem that that's what's necessary. Protests are growing in Hollywood as negotiators for SAG and AFTRA try to stop an actor's strike. It's something that affects the entire industry. Performers are joined writers who walked off the job more than two months ago, effectively paralyzing Hollywood, bringing TV and movie productions to a standstill. We think it will have a big impact on the whole industry, but I hope everyone gets what they want. I really do. That's the most important thing. So look, Top Notch Gang, this is gonna be a different type of video as you can see. I just wanna quickly go over this writers and actors strike, try to explain it and make it concise as fast as possible because this is gonna change a lot of shit for the foreseeable future the way I'm looking at it. Both of these writers and actors strike happening at the same time with each other for the first time in over 60 years is just terrible timing for all you guys' favorite TV shows and their next seasons. Those are definitely going to get postponed. All your guys' anticipation for new TV shows, new movies, or anything, it's all going to either get halted, postponed, or inevitably just canceled at this point. And just one day after the assurgence or the realization that this actor strike will inevitably take place, we're already seeing the effects with Barbie and Oppenheimer that we're also going to talk about later in the video. So sit back, relax. I'm going to cook up for you guys and tell you what are these strikes, what are the repercussions for them, and what are they asking for to get things done, to get everything back how it was. We're going to dive into everything in full detail. As usual, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump right into it. Now, the first thing I want to say is, of course, I'm making this video on this because my channel is clearly based around movies and TV shows, obviously. So this is definitely going to affect my channel and channels alike, TikTok creators, creators over all sorts of platforms alike. And you're going to see the growing concerns as it continues. And let's just start explaining why. So first to explain the two strikes. First, we'll start with the writers because it's been going on a lot longer and I think you guys probably seen or are familiar with the topic over the last few months so we'll start there. So from what I understand first on the writer strike basically there's a union the Writers Guild of America that every couple years I believe three to four years they come and negotiate new terms for the writers on all these TV shows, award shows, movies, all these different things. Every single thing you watch, some type of media, it's usually writers behind all of it. So every few years, this guild comes and negotiates new terms to set a standard for their writers for the future to just put them in a better position basically and i believe the last time this strike happened was the end of 2007 into early 2008 and why this is important is because the landscape of tv as a whole just has completely changed from then to now and that's mainly due to streaming services and that's going to become a constant reminder as we get on to the actor strike and so on and so forth so obviously there are a few things this writers guild are negotiating and pushing for but the biggest one of them all seems to be residuals towards their shows and their writing being used on all these services hulu max netflix peacock tubi if you're in today all these services they want residuals for that because the terms they came into agreement with way back then doesn't make up for this new age of streaming services. So they're looking to get paid residuals for their shows being on these services as well. Now, I think this is very reasonable for the people who understand how much work, effort, and ability these writers put into every source of media all over the world. Like you don't understand. And until this shit gets worse and worse and worse, I don't think most people who watch these shows or anything will understand. They'll probably just see it as these overprivileged people who are taking a stand away from their job just because they can. But I think the rights they're fighting for makes absolutely perfect sense, especially once again, like I say, we're in a new age of these streaming services where they are bigger than ever. For example, the awards or the nominations for the Emmys just came out literally like yesterday, two days ago. 
But based off what I've seen on the list, most of the shows aren't shows that are streamed regularly on TV. It's shows that go directly to streaming services. I saw shows such as The Bear or Abbott Elementary or Wednesday, even The Last of Us. I saw the show Succession that has probably the most nominations all time or at least the most going into these Emmys. While some of these shows I believe you can watch on TV, for the most part you find the majority Majority of people are enjoying these shows through Hulu or through Max or through Netflix, like I said once before. And you can only imagine how bigger these shows get once they are on these services. And you just gotta think the writers aren't getting no type of pay for this. It's just not happening, but they put in the majority of the work to make the show what it is. The whole writing is what makes some of the best shows of all time. And you gotta think about it as well. Shows like, let's say Stranger Things, the watch hours, watch time, the number of viewers, and people who have viewed this all across Netflix, who pay a subscription to Netflix monthly just to watch Stranger Things, just to enjoy a new season. And this goes for all the shows I mentioned as well. You gotta think the amount of money these companies and services are making and the writers have no part or no say into, that's a very big deal. So the writer strike, that's basically what it is or the gist of it at the surface level from what I understand. And that has been going on for at this point, 11 weeks coming up on three months. Now at that time, I started to see a few shows postponed and put into effect that they're standing with the writers and they understand this. Like Stranger Things got pushed back. I seen Euphoria got pushed back. House of the Dragon got pushed back a lot of shows and movies halted production so some of those things did happen very early on but now going into the actor strike it seems like it's about to get so much worse now this actor strike on top of what the writer strike has already been doing seems infinitely worse now that i put it into perspective and came to a better understanding of it because at first i was just a nigga who watched tv shows that i enjoyed that's all it really was but Hearing the possibilities of what can happen if we continue to go down this path and don't get new contracts for both the writers and actors, it, it sounds scary, especially for someone like me, who, of course, whole channel is about movies and TV shows, like I said. Now, the three main notes I've seen that the actors are putting forward to having into these new negotiations are higher pay scales on the lower end for upcoming actors, performers, and so on. Also higher and increased residuals from streaming services. Cause once again, like I said, streaming services control everything nowadays and will bring up the Emmys once again, because more than majority of their shows come from these streaming services. And also the no use of unregulated AI for any of these actors, people, or anything like that. So that seems to be their list of demands of things they want to complete a new contract and complete this negotiation and everything goes smoothly. But the day of the before the negotiation was up or the old contract ended, I should say, they didn't come to terms. So at the time of recording this, it's actually too late. I'm pretty sure they're on strike now. It is what it is. And we already see the effect of it. Like I said, Barbie and Oppenheimer, probably two of the most hyped movies for the year. So much promotion behind it. So much just going on with it. They have to halt what they're doing, the premieres and everything like that. They can't do any of that anymore. They, I saw they even had to push up Oppenheimer's premiere in the UK to get it done before this strike took effect because once they're under strike, it's a lot of things that these actors are limited from doing if they are in support of the union. And that includes things such as, of course, not being allowed to film any TV show or movie productions, 
no sort of promo, no press tours, no junkies, no premieres, anything like that. They can't promote no type of anything they already filmed in the past that's already coming out. They they can't do any of that as well. So when the writer strike happened, like I said, a lot of shows postponed things, a lot of things stopped and halted. But now with the actor strike simultaneously happening, I think it's gonna get so much fucking worse because there's literally nothing they could do at all. I'm already seeing that the Emmys, once again, like I said, the nominations for those has just come out. It was set for September. I'm seeing that that's already about to get pushed back as we speak. I already seen a few actors come out in support of this potential strike that is now inevitable. Like I said, I seen Margot Robbie. I seen, of course, Matt Damon and people of that sort, of that high stature, basically, come out and talk about this and say, if it was to happen, they'll be in full support of the union and stop doing all this promotion, no films, no TV, any of that. So I'm pretty much think it's set in stone and the repercussions for all this are just gonna get worse and worse and worse. And now wait, listen to what a quote came out about these studios, these higher up execs and people that I probably don't even know who the fuck they are. Listen to the quote they said about how they will deal with these writers and actor strikes. Now, this is a quote that came out specifically about the Writers Guild and their strike, not necessarily the actors. And what it basically said is the end game for all this is to drag it out as long as possible until these writers start to lose their homes, apartments, their way of living, basically need to come back and get their jobs. They want to drag this out as long as possible and make them need them. Like, that's kind of fucked up when you think about it. They basically say they have no intention at this time of negotiating at this point. They haven't changed their stance and they're just going to be waiting until the union is put into a position where they fold to their list of demands, give things up, or at least at the very least don't get everything they want. And that's just sickening when you think about it. So now that they have come out with this quote, I'm pretty sure these strikes are going to go on longer than we think and once again now that they're both happening at the first time in over 60 years i think maybe that helps it come to a conclusion faster because literally everything will be stopped like there's no fucking choice everything is gonna be put on hold so maybe that helps it come to a conclusion faster but if not it's gonna get so much worse like infinitely worse like i mentioned before the last writer's strike was in late 2007 and ended early 2008 it only lasted three months this one is about to hit three months already with this quote coming out that they don't have any plans on making any negotiations or following through with any of this. They want to continue to wait. So with that coming out, I'm expecting it to go in a lot longer. And once again, I mentioned how the Oppenheimer and some of these big budget movies that are coming up in the next following weeks and months are going to be able to get no promotion, no push behind it, no premieres, no any of this. And you cannot stand alone with these people at the top, with these studios and companies. You got to stand with the actors or the writers, both preferably, because you're just going to be put in a bad spot in the long term if you decide to do this. Now, ultimately, what I would say about the outcome of all this is I was only around five, six at the most at the writer's strike in 2007 and 2008. So what I've seen or heard that most shows just diminished in quality, a lot of seasons shortened because they had to do less episodes, they had to hold productions and things like that. And when they came back from hiatus, some shows just were never the same. The whole writing and everything was just different. So I think this could fuck up a lot of TV shows potentially for the future. But yeah, that's the repercussions or the foreseeable outcomes and future we're looking at at the current time. We're looking at a lot of things being pushed back, completely stopped, just knocked out of development. And we've seen it with a lot of big movies. I think I just saw Gladiator, Mortal Kombat 2, and things like big budget movies and films getting put completely on hiatus because of this actors and writer strike. 
So what do we do? Honestly, we really don't have no choice, but the best option is obviously to stay with the writers and the actors, of course. The quicker this shit gets resolved, the quicker we get back to the content we all enjoy and love, whether that's movies and TV shows, whether that's comedies, dramas, romantics, or whatever you want to fucking watch. We, you, we just need to get back to it because currently as it stands, the way this is sounding, it's gonna get fucking scary. It's gonna get dry and fast. I'm expecting a lot of these streaming companies to possibly lose subscribers. I'm expecting, expecting a lot of these big budget movies to flop or not make as much profit as they would have if all these deals and negotiations were put into effect and worked out already. But at this point, it's really just a waiting game on both sides once again the studios and high execs basically said that they're just gonna hold out until the writers need them that's basically what i got from that quote the actors can't promote they can't be in no films no production of tv shows or movies so we're in a big ass waiting game and once again with both being on strike at the same time i think things can pick up and be worked out faster but if not jesus christ bro i don't even know what to say this shit is just gonna get bad and i'm we just gonna have to see it to believe it but how do you think this situation will be resolved? Do you think what the writers and act actors are asking for is particularly unfair? Do you think they should give and take, like accept this, lose that? Or do you think these studios are just fucking crazy? They, de they demented, they just want control of everything, they're greedy. Let me know all your opinions down below in the comments. Two things can be true at once. Once again, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.